Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Red Claw, welcome back to an episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, this time, I'm going to be going up, or back to where I kind of was in the last episode. To kind of, what, what the hell is that? It's like something, oh okay. Uh, yeah, to kind of go back to where I was in the last episode. Uh, well, to start that mission with John. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called The Bridge to Nowhere or something like that. Uh, which has, well, we've, we've kind of got the stuff ready for that, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like two or three episodes ago, like the dynamite or something that we're going to use to blow up the bridge, we, we already have that, we kind of got it ready, as I said, a couple episodes ago, now over here, we were actually here last episode, uh, for the mission Archaeology for Beginners, we were here with, uh, Rain's Fall, or, no, Eagle Flies, no, I'm pretty sure it was Rain's Fall, I kind of get the two mixed up. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Rain's Fall, and if not, then... No, no I'm pretty sure it was Rain's Fall. Uh, we kind of had to help him uh, get back, like, some of the... Some of the stuff that they kind of, like, the... Well, that the army kind of took away from them. As you can see, we actually had to go in here. Oh, okay. Um, wasn't expecting that, but sure, okay. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I just kind of went past... And then they were like, oh yeah, this is of course the guy that was here, like, a couple days ago. Okay, let's just leave. But we actually, I actually thought we were going to be quite a lot closer, but there you go. We actually are here now, so, and if I can run across here, maybe not park, park on the tracks. But here's John over here, so let's get off and talk to him and start this mission properly. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous, but... I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can. You could give something to Jack. It's that or. Well, I don't see no way out of this. What about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> so there you go, wise words from Arthur as well, always. Like we finally found our calling in line. Uh, and I guess now we're gonna have to go with this uh, dynamite over here. I'm not really sure how how we're gonna be able to push. Uh, can I just hold it down or no? Okay, I'm gonna have to just push over here. There you go. We're actually doing quite good. Well, I guess it's not really that much of a challenge, is it? Uh, but yeah, let's kind of listen to what they've got to say. We're about to blow a bridge for Christ's sake. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so I guess we're going to this bridge. Is it this bridge or that bridge? No, I think it is this bridge. I kind of so doubt and I kind of just didn't realise that they stopped talking, but sure, okay. Uh, so let's get this, I guess. Can we pick it up? Yes, we can. Uh, I hope no train comes across here. Because that would kind of be bad, wouldn't it? Uh, let's go over to John, I guess. We're going to have to lower the design mic down to him. Whoops, put the microphone over there. Uh, so... Okay, we need to lower it. How are we going to do this? 
I guess attach a rope to it. There you go. Okay, start lowering it down. Okay. Right, yeah, slow, but like how slow can out. you go? Like we need okay, to get this good. done quite fast Grab before like one. anyone's kind of just w happens to like be walking past or something and kind of just notice us kind of <laughs> place a dynamite on the bridge. I guess the closest like path like trailers like all the way over there so I guess we are kind of far far away from it maybe but then we need to watch out just in case a train comes because well that would wouldn't really end well would it to kind of get that like destroy our kind of little wagon over there I guess you could call it not really sure what the like, proper word for that is but let's lower this other one down and I guess we're going to go down there to help him like plant her across so yeah, let's go down. Let's hope we don't fall down. Okay, there you go. You just need to really, like, go really slowly up to the ladder because sometimes, it, like, Arthur just kind of just jumps off. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Yeah, I guess. I guess we do really need to just need to take out this, like, main one. And, like, the train just uh, is going to be heavy enough that it's just going to kind of, like, destroy the rest of it, I guess. It would kind of be, make more sense to place it, like, like, over there on, like, that kind of, like, support pillar, like, at the bottom and then, like, over here. But I guess we're going to do it this way. Maybe this is the better way. I guess there isn't really a way to go down there, is there? So let's place it over here. If I can, if I... If Arthur just doesn't run past. There you go, plant it. I should go get the hand cart ready. Yep, okay. So we just need John, to do one more over on, there and we ready. are going to be able to I join John upstairs. I'm not really sure when the train's meant to come, if we're gonna like wait here or if we're just gonna like go off and like read about in the news or something. In the newspaper. And um, I guess for now, like just uh, sort this out. We need, to, we need to place the last one over here. All the way at the end. Uh, I'm pretty sure John only placed one, or maybe two, I'm not really sure, but and I guess we we could half the work and make it like a bit easier. Okay, so let's plant the last one over here. And join back up with John. Uh, so okay, let's go back now. Oh yep, I, I knew something like that would happen. Did I? A trade is is it a train? train? Yup, it is a train. I kind of knew something like this would happen. Okay, let's go up quickly. We need to... Okay, it's a hand car. Yeah, okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, come on, run, 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 run. Run towards it. Yup, 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 we need to quickly push. I need to really focus on this now. So this is actually really hard or really easy to mess up. Um, I think the train will actually slow down if we do mess it up, so that's good. But there you go, we jumped off, we just about made it. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Okay, so there you go. I guess we're going to blow it up right now. So the horses are out of the way, which is good. And that was a really close call of that train, wasn't it? I did kind of know that something like that would kind of happen. So, the line held. so yeah. Want the honors? Sure. Okay, so I guess we can pull, pull it over here. Uh, the plunger over here. And then blow up the bridge, which is going to be an exciting show. So let's... Uh, well, I guess let's watch it. There you go, detonate. Press it down. <laughs> no train's gonna get past there now, is it? Unless it can jump about 20 meters or something. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to 
to everything. You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. Well, you know, we actually do have you know something? about 4,000 of us off of Okay, let's, let's just kind of forget about that. I think she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. So as I said before, wise words from Arthur, I guess at some point John will have to go with Abigail and Jack and kind of just start a new life, I guess, because, oh yeah, like the Pinkertons are kind of hunting us down a lot more, and I'm not really sure we're going to be able to keep on running for much longer. Uh, so I guess Arthur's resting over here, that tuba closer says, I was nearly killing him, probably not much longer. And there's going to be over, which is kind of sad, but I guess the story does need to end, like, some time. And I guess it's going to be now. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.